touched on frame, so shoulder, hip, connection, frame, arm, that's all part of that. What's another connection point? Your chest. Part of all of that, yes? Something else, something different, um, other than, yeah. Not sure. You're gonna, okay, follow me for a second, yeah? Come here. Okay, watching, she's gonna answer it, yeah? So ready? And one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six. I uh, yeah. Visual connection. And look how powerful the visual connection is to, to follow. It's something that we forget and we like underrate all the time. Yeah, that's something like beautiful job, right? You can respond to everything just with what you see. And especially when you're in a reverse position, it's even more important. To think about that because you can't see everything that's always in front, so that's even more important. Yeah, big round of applause. Big round of applause. Okay. Control. I can isolate every part of George's upper body, right? When you're down here, you're not really doing anything with the upper half of the torso. You're controlling like the rib cage and the stomach, and that's not the most important. It's like the most delayed part of the rotation. So leaders, remember, keep your connection around the lats. Keep that nice and clear. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? Second thing is, um, there's always a bit of a debate around this, um, and I would use both techniques as well. Okay? So, this frame, right, as opposed to this frame. Okay? So, what do you see differently? Elbows, yeah. I'm creating a bit more frame and support. Leaders, I always want us to think about this frame more so than this frame. This frame is useful when you are close, right? And you're, you're doing more right and more stationary. But when we're still separate, I want you to keep frame because your partner can connect and respond to it better. Anytime we have rotational points, it builds a level of support for your partner as opposed to having a collapsed position in your frame. Okay, so try to, again, we will cross between both in different positions, but again, use the support of the frame. Let's talk about like transfer. Yeah, some of the ladies as well, it's also okay, it's a styling thing, it's common now. Uh, it's common to if you feel like your partner overstretches you to take the foot off the floor. That's also okay. What you just need to be mindful of is that you don't change the feeling of where it was when you retouch the floor. So from a perspective of if it starts here, right, it comes off, it shouldn't end up further away. It should be aiming to come back where it was. So that's just something as well, ladies. And like Salvi, you'll feel that quite often being shorter than most partners. You'll feel that you'll get set, pushed off centre. This is okay, point your foot, like obviously you're not flexing. Yeah, but, but, but have intention to find the floor back again faster. Yeah, and now apply these on the social, or you follow them on the social, or you're learning things similar in other classes. Yeah, you'll see the practicality of having a better idea of that fundamental. So really well done. Yeah. All right, hands in everyone. We're going to finish um, with a big bachata, and then we're going to start a, a big salsa. Yeah. All right. All right, a bachata on three. One, two, three. Bachata. <laughs>